Holy shit, this is good. I legit stayed up until 3 a.m. reading this on a night where I had to wake up at 7 the next day. That's how you know this jam is good. Like if I were me at 12 years old and this manga were a cake, not only would I have early onset diabetes, but I would simultaneously be eating the cake and throwing it up to make room for more. And you want to know why I like this so much? It's because this is following the rule of KISS. Keep it simple stupid. All this man wants to do is kill goblins. That's it. And I'll be damned if it ain't entertaining. Hell, half the things that happened in the first chapter were super obvious. That didn't stop me from wanting to see some gross rapey goblins getting sliced and diced by the one and only Goblin Slayer, who even needs character traits and memorable side characters when you have goblins and the slaying of said goblins everywhere else in the manga. But if you want a rundown on everyone who isn't the Goblin Slayer, you got Priest Girl, my Overwatch teammates, Elf Girl, Old Short Dude, and Gator Bro. Or is he a crocodile? It says Lizard Man, but that can't be true because lizards can't be people. Ooh, man, that art style gets the gore across beautifully like some fine wine and cheese. Some of the two-page panels are just glorious and make you wish that more artists would choose the route of bigger means better. This is not for the faint of heart, so if you have a very fragile soul and don't like seeing some more risque and grotesque images, you may not want to read this. But if you like any of these, then you're bound to like Goblin Slayer. The anime is releasing right now, and they've already done a pretty good job at translating this from page to screen, so if you've seen the anime, then give the manga a chance and see some goblins get what they deserve. Yeah, that's right. You know what you did, goblins. Thanks for watching.